Following a shadow down to the graveyard Gonna say a prayer, gonna pay my dues I've been running wild ever since I left Virginia Trying to find a face in my dream Hello everyone, my name is Stevie and welcome back to another video. Today I have a crazy story for you all full of twists and outplays backed by a ton of PvP that got us started and kept us alive in this wipe. An adventure that you guys can expect to be unpredictable in many, many ways. So, let's just get right into it. My name's Stevie. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the movie. So the day was Sunday, September 11th, 11 days after this month-long server had wiped, and our story, per usual, started where and how everyone in Rust begins, as naked on the beach. This adventure I was playing duo with Snuffy, and the server we were playing on was US Rustified Long 3, like I previously mentioned, a month long server. That meant that we were 11 days into a 30 day adventure. Things were winding up, as was the day. On this Sunday, it was 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern, so the server, nearly full pop, wasn't as full and chaotic as it would be later on. Snuffy and I, of course, would take this opportunity to get a base down in the area of our choosing, but also something that's kind of interesting for month-long servers is that there tend to be a ton of shops, meaning a lot of the essential resources, materials, or guns and gear that you need to start off your adventure, you can buy from vending machines. So I hit a couple trees, a couple barrels on the road, a few sulfur nodes, and started making my way towards Outpost, while Snuffy and I were looking at the map for what was for sale. Tommy for 650 sulfur at Meta Shop. That's not bad. DB actually has two buckshots inside. Really? Damn. Holy, I passed outpost and my FPS dropped to like 70. <laughs> I think launch site's walled off. <laughs> Bro, I think it is. No shot. What the f Well, I'm trying to get around it. Or wait, no, they're- Oh, no, it's, it's- They're not trying to wall off outpost. They're trying to wall off outpost. It's not. Uh. -uh. They're like halfway done with walling off outpost. That's f***ed up. <laughs> it's really I guess we gotta wait and see who- What YouTuber is it? Yeah, I guess. You walled off outpost. So, uh, in this wipe, I decided to wall in the outpost so no one else can use it. I made people pay me so for to access the outpost. <laughs> Some shit like that. For real, for real. Well, I'm an outpost doing my recycling. Level 2 for 1500 sulfur. A broken sulfur for 375. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Bro, bro, bro. Stuff for crude. These guys want a sulfur for 50, for 40 crude. Bought that, ho. P2 for 8 high qual. Bought that. Sulfur for 450. Bought that.
Oh my god, this one star is full, bro. I got a chainsaw. Nice. Bro. These guys are selling a thousand cloth for 500 sulfur. That's huge. That's huge. What? How can they do that? And they have nine left. Bro. Buy it. I don't have enough, but I want to go out and buy it. I mean, I could build an easy base over here. Where you are? Yeah. I have a chainsaw. I could just hit the medium wood. I can just go ham with that chainsaw. Okay, don't get jumped. I love to get jumped. Then I can kill him. Let's see, this is a madman. Well, <clears throat> eh. Did he pass mm. away? Yeah. What happened? I got jumped by three guys. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to give you my insta bag over here? Probably a good idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, hey man. I love getting jumped. <laughs> Now, as nighttime came and Snuffy spawned in the bag that I had given to him, we continued to farm resources to get a little base down. There was that huge wall in between outpost and launch site, which was an attempt to wall off outpost that was kind of halfway done, although there was a hole in the middle. It was unintentional. The creator of the wall had forgotten to put a TC, and so the wall that they put decayed and there was a gap. So Snuffy and I decided that we would put our base just there. It was out of range of radiation from launch site, but it was still very, very close. So our hopes is that the area would bring a ton of PvP, as well as being extremely close to outpost, which is always a plus. I have only one door, you're saying? Yeah, okay, put it on the inner door. Nice, hold torch out real quick, please. I want to buy the, Listen. the level 2 workbench. Hey. We're here to snowball. I think I need to teach you something. Oh my god, I'm literally the king of snowballing. That's what they call me. Okay, I, I, I won't teach anything. You're the king. <laughs> Very true. <clears throat> Top king, Stevie. Yes. The next 30 minutes or so was pretty boring, we were pretty much just farming to buy more things from the drone delivery station. We did some standard farming, we came back, our base was raided, that was a shock, but it was by the guy that we're made raided. the big wall. He was just doing it to place more walls, he placed one more when we found out that our base was raided, so we cleared off on the TC, added metal doors this time, we bought a level 2 workbench and placed it, we bought a couple more guns, we bought that 1000 cloth for 500 sulfur, which is kind of an insane deal on vanilla, recycled smoke grenades that we bought from outpost for gunpowder we researched pistol ammo medical syringe as well we made more pistol ammo and meds and then snuffy heard scientists shooting at launch site knowing someone was doing the launch site puzzle he camped the exit but no one came out that way he heard legs break though he ran around to the backside and found an lr body full of top of launch site loot 
Someone had jumped off the back into a little hidden bush area, thinking they would be safe to come back and get their body, but Snuffy heard it, he got there first, and so we had an LR set, which was nice. And by that point, when we were in our base, we saw that there was a crate at Train Yard. We had no excuse not to get some serious gains here. We had guns, gear, meds, everything we needed to win this crate. The night I'm not, it's perfect. I guess you have silencer, have a silencer. flashlight and LR, like you're so happy right now. Now, while we're on the way to Train Yard, it's time for a very quick and very important announcement. This has been in the works for a while. On Thursday, December 15th, I am opening up a Stevius Vanilla server. Mostly. It is essentially pure vanilla with a few quality of life changes. Those mainly being the super, super bad loot in crates and barrels being removed, that weird reset vending machine timer when you're buying resources at Outpost, that is removed, and there will be recyclers added to Barn and Fishing Village. Aside from that, it is plain vanilla, 3750 map size, weekly wipe, it's a US server, you're getting the Stevius experience, which is as high-performing servers as they come, and as active admins as they come, but with added benefits, like, again, the server performance is better, the admin are more active, only $5 a month for VIP compared to $750 or even $10 on other servers if there happens to be a queue. If you have played on a Stevia server before, you know it's going to be popping, it's going to be crazy on the 15th, so if you want any more information on that, join the Stevia's Discord, the link for that is in the description below. Needless to say, I will be there on the 15th, probably bringing some creator pals with me, maybe Frost, maybe Blueprint, maybe someone else, who knows? Maybe you guys get the opportunity to face up against us as we look to go on an adventure of our own. So, let your group know, let your friends know, do with this information what you will, but I hope to see you there on the 15th. Now let's get back to our story and continue our run to Train Yard. Large mm. furnace on in the big metal base to our left. Here's SARS in front of me. Okay. Northeast. Be careful for this big ass fucking hallway. Okay, he's on top. He's on top. You see his flashlight? In this building? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Are you moving? No. I hear that guy. He's going out to the crate. He's like on the crate area. Jumping around. I Angle killed him. I killed him. Any flashlight on it? No one, sir. I'm on HP. Yeah. Trying to find this. I got this guy's body. Did he have meds? Hold up, hold up. I'm dead to sword! On my body! You can pick me! Nice, nice, nice. No shot. He jumped down, I think, behind you. Yeah, the plastic guy is still on top. In the hallway? Yeah, I'm on top with him. Give me a second. Okay. There's also another guy, the original guy you killed is still alive. It's me. He's literally on me down here. the guy end up nice she I think there's a guy coming behind you the way you came okay yeah he definitely is he's going up it right now yeah let him I'm gonna kill him if you find any flashlight let me know I have one flashlight on the gun extra think gun. you okay you think you could toss it down I'm waiting for full HP. That's me. And one Sar and up. Sar fell down. There's a guy on me. Down low. The way we came from. Dead. Nice. She Sar fell down, all the way down. Okay, I'm going for it. 
There's a guy near you or us. Dead. I think I know where he may be. Yeah, he is. Thumb big, thumb big. Dead. He's dead, he's dead. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna go for the yeah, crate go, now, okay? Go for, go for the crate, yeah. More people under the... I'm going for I it. I should double hit him. Maybe dead. I have it. I'm leaving. Let's get the SAR guy and get out, come on. Uh, I maybe killed the other guy. I need to check on butt lock. Guy near me, I think? You loot. 6.2. Head guards. Okay. You ready to go? What was the crate? LMG, bolty, extended mag. Uh, CCTVs. Give bolt. You want bolt? <laughs> yeah. You want extended mag for LR? I have two. Mm. Yes, I can take it. Can do it instead of flashlight. You have enough bullets for the LMG? Yeah. I have stacking 70 on me. I got all the SARS filled and I have 30 extra and LMG filled. Yeah. Are you gonna use that LMG? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, I could use LR if you want. I have no preference. You wanna give me the LMG? Yeah, if I, I get the attachments for this R. I'm not gonna give you holo. <laughs> no, bro. I'm not using a fucking LR without a holo. Actually, I can give you. Okay. I'll put the handmaid side on it. Okay. Guy in front of us, has he? Right here in these bushes. Shot. What killed one on left? I'm dead. Huh? There's two on the left more. This is really bad. Just come back. I see at least two. Killed one. Just come back from base. Going. Hit him like 80 times. He should be dead. I'm still waiting for you though. One got up. I finished him. Hey! Over here! Yeah. Yeah. One, someone's creeping yeah. on me because this guy just rushed me trying to distract. Y your body's good, but it may be being watched by one guy. There's an hold on. There's another body right here. Can't see shit. You good? Yeah, I killed naked. I we know where the leave either. They could leave on the right. Yeah. We should come back though, right when we depot. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, good shit. <laughs> we should also just loot this gear, even though it's shit gear, just for rad protection. I see a guy. Has he running our way from 70? I'm getting on this rock. I'm getting silenced. AK, I think. I think it's the guy on this rock. I see him, he's pushing you. He's pushing Two. me. I'll kill him. Can you shoot him? No, Once I'm hit dead. five times. It wasn't the same guy. There, yeah, there are two. There are multiple pushing you. Just get a gun, come back. I'm um, back then. Full killed one. I see another. Like N15. Full killed line. another. And he comes. 
from another. Three full metals dead. It's huge. That's time coming back, I think. I'm pretty sure. He has L9 AK. So many guns. You have no timer at all? Like, you have full timer? I mean, I'm here. You're here? I'm close, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm staying on this rock. Red, red column. Behind a rock. Like, in the middle of that field at that fight. Full killed another. Good. Different guy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. You saw it? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, another one. Where? Where? Is that you shooting or him? No, no, no. I'm. He's shooting me. Where is he? I don't know, he's on, on my right somewhere. Triple him. I'm holding right side of the river too. I'm swinging left. Dead. Nice, well, good shit, man. That guy has 8v rock to the Bradley. I know, I know, I know. This guy was loaded, man. I'm just behind wall covering you. Can you? Another naked coming. I'm S full. Same direction, hit the 1x2. You need to loot that body. I'm full inventory. This guy's going for it, I think. He's dead. I mean, I'm going have for to it. go deeper. Okay, I can wall this though. Can you cover me? Give me a second. I need to loot so. Where? These body bags. We need to go. Yeah, let's go. We're overstaying. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Did you loot a green kit or no? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, maybe that was that. Good shit. Hold Stop on. You. you want walls or mini walls? You have? Yeah, yeah, yeah mini walls we? on the ground. Alright, let go. See one full get back there. Okay. Where? Uh by the two by two. I'm getting behind yes, my wall. Shoot him. He's I'm dead. down. He's I'm dead. down. Okay. I'm gonna come pick you. Can I wall your body? Probably not. Many above. It's landing. I think I killed pilot. Nice life. Can he finish Can you? Finish me. No. Just stay there, stay there, don't Come on. move. Get up, please, game. Can you see them? No. I got up. I have no gun. I'm, gonna go I'm dead, I'm dead. We need to go from base. There should be hell in a box. I got it. Mini's right on me. Yeah, yeah, camp, camp mini. I'm just waiting it, yeah. We're gonna go farm after that. Okay. Expand our base. You hear anything? They may just run home with it. Don't hear nothing. No. One full dead, full metal. You can Where? loot. Where? The other one. There's one more somewhere. He's hit like five times on the him? other side of the wall. Yeah, yeah. He's like on the left side of the wall. So lit. I'm dead. It's another guy. You think it's them? No shot. Yeah. I have a far diamond. They're on the right side of the... Okay. And of course I spawn in the fucking bear. Uh, I hit one five times, killed the other, full dead. There are like so many full dead there. Can't do anything. I have a bag on my body. I'm dead, Tioka. Grub. Yeah, I'm full dead. He literally just killed me, yoinked my AK, and just W keyed away. So sad.
Go bears. Can you make me five five, please? And put, put it in a box. Take. Take. I dropped it. They're shooting our base. Are they killing naked? No, actually? they're killing naked. I'm ready to go out and drop anything. No, just wait. I need to make meds and shit. They're running off. I think I should go. You can go if you want. They're close. Actually, one of them have a lot. Oh, they didn't die. Are they? Here, boost me on base, quick. I'm dead. Maybe just grab my LR, get inside, they're four. I can't grab your LR, it landed on top. Damn. We're so raided, man. I think I know where these guys live. It's that huge metal base. Because every time they died, they were running back from there. The heli came from there. <sighs> like it has to be. Despite how well Snuffy and I had played in the first place to get all of those guns and gear from this four to five man group, we had lost a good bit of it back here and here. We changed direction and started doing some farming just to get the base a little bit bigger because they did now know where we lived. But what was so annoying about this whole fight sequence is that when I died right here to this Yoka guy, it wasn't really genuine. Majik and his eventual friend turned out to be stream snipers, as Snuffy, per usual, was streaming this adventure. Over the next hour or so, as we were expanding the base and farming and going out to PvP, they would be back again and again and again and again. There was no reason for it. We didn't know that they lived anywhere nearby. We hadn't killed them or anything for a substantial amount of loot. They were just there always. And that Yoka kill meant a ton. It prevented me from getting to this full metal body here, this hazmat guy I killed here, and this full metal guy that I probably also downed here because I hit him five times. I could have fought off the guy that came back, I could have held down the loot, and we could have got it all back to our base. But we can't look at it like that. There are a ton of what-ifs and rust. It's time to move forward. Unfortunately, moving forward wasn't much better. Aside from the door camping that I had mentioned, another big problem we were having was this group. We were trying to hunt them down. They went to Bradley and started taking it, and so we tried to counter, but they were looking exactly in our direction each time we peeked. And so Snuffy brought out the Bolty and started shooting at them from far away, but they just always knew exactly where we were coming from. It was so bizarre. Here's some clips. They're on top. They already know that we are here. I think they just for fun that HV. That's the only shot. Who's TB? Not me. Getting silence from who? I think it's on top of office. They already building. looted my fucking Zar body. Mm -hmm. And then when they start taking it, if people come. They're running out. Here. They're running out from launch. Okay. Towards their base? Towards me. They're like inner mm. rocks. Okay, can you see if we're getting camped or no? I can't see now. Okay. All good. There ain't no open field. Past the rocks? They, they just know. Damn. How many? It doesn't matter if I silence them, like three. They just know where I am. That guy is cheating. If you look at any of these events in isolation, nothing looks that suspicious, but when you add them all up, when you put them together one after the other after the other, it begins to paint a picture. And Snuffy had said it, that, that guy, guy is cheating. cheating. And those words I take very seriously from him. And so I believed it. We just needed some solid evidence at this point. 
And so I ran from base with a gun, made sure we weren't getting door camped, over to launch site where this group was currently leaving. Did he wall? Oh, that must have been from earlier. One well, on me. Okay. I'm in the rocks right now. Hold on, I'm running. I got my kit. Oof. You killed one? I think I full killed uh, metal. In the rocks. Yeah. I'm looting. Yeah. You need to run, he's up. Running into launch. Damn. You good? Yeah. They're they're pushing me. If you yeah, come to launch, we killed them. Eight I'm one. I'm Get him. one HP. Hit him again. They're all pushing you, you need to run. I know, I know. I'm in Vince. Should I play to fight or play to leave? Play to leave. I can't. I think these guys are sus. These guys know where where I am. Like always. Yeah, I think so as well. Wanna know how I know? Oh yeah, no, that guy's that's weird, man. He just pre-fired my like hard pre-fired the corner I was in. It's hard to tell with the music and me and Snuffy talking in the background, but when you remove all of the audio except for the game sounds, the last time I could have possibly made a sound or a substantial sound was stepping at the top of this ladder here. And for the second following, when I got to the top of the ladder, I didn't hear a sound, meaning they weren't in range to hear me. So they wouldn't have heard the step. For all they knew, I could have kept running with all of the loot and gotten away. But instead, they decided to surround the building. One of them went underneath and two double pushed the doorway. The first guy pretty much pre-firing the corner. There was a chance that this was a really good guess. There was a chance that they had heard me, but I really didn't think so. And so we reported them. And after a cursory overview of their profiles, the admins determined, without even needing to look into their gameplay, one of the players was already banned on the server and was ban evading. Which of course was caused to ban him and ban all of his teammates that knew about it or had been playing with him frequently in the past. When all was said and done, five people were banned. And yes, via the names, you'll remember that this group was the same group of guys that we fought right here. But what we wanted to do is figure out where they lived. We were under the impression that not the entire group was banned, just the people that knew about the previous hacking. And looking back through my footage at the fight that we had with the alleged cheater and the rest of his group, there was a mini copter with two of them inside that had come exactly from this metal base, the exact direction. And so that was it. That was all that I needed to see. That was the group that had housed the cheater in our heads. That was now the antagonist of the land. And so, naturally, we wanted to go over there to poke and prod. We wanted to see, would the alleged cheater come back on a different profile, or would guns and gear be easy to get from them now? We wanted to see what their next move would be. Uh, don't go yet. Why? That, uh, maybe we take their kits first, and then we can say that they can't win fights without, without cheaters, how bad they are. We got large furnaces running. <laughs> I think we can build a base in their compound. I'm gonna start building over to see how they react. Hmm, found where we can build over. But one of them's there on the roof. Alright, so I think we should TC grief them first. In this building spot. And then just leave it there. 
and that'll make it so later we can build in whenever we want, you know? Okay. Also, they may just decide to raid it. They may push out. You could wait in the trees, with, and, like, we could pick some kits. Just poke at them a little bit. Can you- are you in base? Are you running over? No, I'm here. That was you hitting tree? Yeah. Naked just looting in the compound. Looting? Yeah. I see has it behind their base. Okay. You saw- You can grab it if you want, real quick. One's on roof, I think. Alright. There's one down. I'm gonna wrap back around and push up that hill, hill a little bit to get a bit more stone and we can just do it again. I can push to in that, by the way, if you want. Oh, you're right. Do you want to take my mats? I guess. Okay. Alright, go ahead. I think Wait. they're coming. I think he's in the inner compound. He sounds far. Maybe. To the right a bit. Oh, I'm so close. Just keep jumping like you're trying to, like, just act like we didn't accomplish anything. Okay, nice. I should have run a building plan to see where the privilege gaps are. Do you think you could throw me one under a gate? Okay. It's right behind the fucking tree. I think they're chopping wood to make more externals to cover their gaps if you want to come back. Hold on, I killed the Hazzy. Jack Hammer. Nice. Thompson. They're coming. They're putting in new codes. They bag someone else. Did you kill one? Stevie? Yeah. Killed three, actually. <laughs> oh. I'm going back to base. Snowy Taco Twizzy. I have three extra guns. Two extra guns. Their turrets are off and I'm in their inner compound. Wait, rockets. Give me comps. Oh, it's behind. Never mind. Can you come? Can you come? No. I yoink so much from their furnaces. Oh, I'm Ready to get out. I'm out. What do you get? Give me a sec. Two point five K sulfur, two point five K metal. Half a K cook, Huge. so like three K three K sulfur, three K metal, and then a bunch of comps, two hazies. P2. No way, the, bro. Nice. We need to go back over there. Also, you can boost me over on this one over here. One of them is lucid. Yeah, I can build one over here.
grab it. Coming out this gate. You good? They're Mr. Barry, I know that's you. They're coming outside this gate. I'm They're waiting. Like three right in here. One is coming out of the side. Okay. I'm dripping, I think, actually. I don't think so. They're opening. They opened. They opened. Wait, loot. wait, don't up. They came with a shit ton of comps. I need to find oh, that guy's take a, gun. Take a custom. Uh, on me, on me. Okay. Loot it. Right th down here. Got it. Reloading. Alright, you wanna let's full crouch over to the north gate, the one that the other one that's open. Kill one on the roof, I think. Okay. Come in. Route, 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 route. Okay. On me. I can't help you at all, play slow. We got, we got. I'm gonna kill him. Okay. I don't know what I got shot by. He's at roof, roof, roof. There's an L9 on the roof. I'm on HP. Did you kill one? Yeah. Killed them both. Nice, nice, nice. If you want to depot and run back fast, they're about to open this gate and I'm going to be in their inner core again. The problem is they have L9 on the roof now. Should I maybe hide right now? Yeah. Until you get back? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Their turrets are still off. I don't think they can turn them on because a bunch of people probably aren't offed. Maybe they don't know they can off people. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. All right. I'm hiding out of sight in compound. The outer layer. There's just stone it get. What flavor do you recommend? One's coming out. I'm letting him. We got, we got. Full kit. Nice. Oh my god, what the f What's his name? Yeah, it's tier 3 and everything. Oh, nice, dude. He had so many extra guns on him. Good shit. There's no extra box room, but. So much cloth. What the f <laughs> Good shit, dude, that's big. I think it's neighbor. Yeah. Where the f did he come from? I don't know, bro. You find crazy shit when you live beside Outpost, I guess. Whoever's on roof, open up. No, 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 no. Close, open up, open up. Can you change it real quick? I don't know it, I just have it. I don't remember any of the codes of this base because they change every day, dude. There's no fucking point. Just dude, like this, I, I go up there for five minutes. Where are all the L9s? Ladder hatchet. I have one on me. Yeah, but we had like over three, dude. Are retards going out with L9, dude? Like. I have no clue. I have not went out with an L9, dude. It's probably toast.
Probably be toast. I think I'm oh. kicking toasty. Yo, you think boss, you're I'm kicking down, toasty? I'm gonna... Yeah. All Why? he does is lose kits, bro. All, all he does is lose kits. I mean, that's fair. Yo, uh, boss, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, sh uh, cut down all the trees that are, uh, so he can roof camp the people door camping us. <laughs> you gotta get over here. And Dude, they're hella talking, they're hella talking in game. One, they're gonna kick the guy that's losing L9s. Like, it, they're like multiple guys talking back and forth. I know who the leader is right now, or what he sounds like at least. He's like, people are calling him boss and shit, like they're being dead serious. Chainsaw, chainsaw, at this gate, at this gate. He's got two. I can't shoot him in here, it'll give away my cover. You shooting? No. One's on me. Triple deadline. Killed him, got him nine. I'm going to loot the body. Can you grab can you see at the bottom of this gate and grab this? I'm M9? leaving. I got two two lines of wood. <laughs> They're coming for me. <laughs> I got heavy plate metal pants. <laughs> Gaming, absolutely, absolutely living rent free in their heads right now. Yeah. I'm dead. He opened with plate metal. I think we found the leader. <laughs> His name is Boss. <laughs> name is Boss. Boss, yeah, they were calling him Boss, and I thought they were just like, he's the boss, but his name's literally Boss. But he was the guy directing people. I'm gonna get his steam. Just to have, just to have. What you guys will come to realize in time is that the dialogue had between the members of this group will become very, very important as this story progresses. There was a guy whose name was Boss that everyone was calling the boss that was clearly the leader of the group. The only reason I was able to figure this out is because they were talking out loud in game to each other, which was a sign that this was a big group with multiple team UIs and discord channels, probably a channel for the farmers, a channel for the builders, and a channel for the people that were going out to PvP. We suspected that the four to five man group that had gotten banned for hacking was part of their PvP group, and because they had gotten banned because of us, this clan was now crippled. They had kind of lost their ability to fight or defend themselves well. Temporarily, that is, until Boss called on more PvPers, but for the time being, we had an advantage, and we were capitalizing on it. We had gotten so many guns, so much gear, and resources off these guys in the past 20 to 30 minutes, not to mention that weird encounter that Snuffy had with that full metal guy that was running to outpost that was completely loaded. But after this last play that Snuffy made for all of the wood, we decided to stay away from their compound. They were now on high alert, chances were they weren't going to go out as frequently, and the last thing we wanted is for one of them to follow us home, figure out where we lived, and raid us while we were sleeping. And while for me it was only around 10pm Eastern time for Snuffy in Estonia, it was 4 in the morning and he was getting tired. So we needed to start working on the base so that we could log off and go to sleep sometime soon. So that's what we did. Oh. Who the fuck was that shooting at? I know. Some SAM sites just went to Narnia. Sar near me. Oh, it's roof camper. Wait, I don't think it is. Two guys dead here outside our base? There's like a crash. A heli crash.
Ooh, that's not good. They're outside our base. Boston Taco. Okay. Um, Lego. I have a bunch of comps. I'm gonna take this garage door too. Behind. Dead. Oh, nice. very nice try, very nice try, but please do not camp in my base, okay? Okay, Miss Grub, please, no. I don't think Miss Grub is with them, because we didn't see her name at their compound, and I don't think they realized that we came from that base. The 300 scrap. <coughs> nice. Well, I'm going to bed. Except for the stream sniping door campers, and I guess the guys that got banned for hacking, we had laid pretty low the previous day. So I fully expected us not to be raided when I woke up that morning. Snuffy had gone to sleep earlier than I had, so he woke up earlier than I did, and we weren't raided. At this point, it was around 9 a.m. Eastern time, so super early. There weren't all too many people on the server at this hour. So, Snuffy got to some farming. Now, he was playing some copyrighted music in the background, so I can't show a montage of the farming or anything, but this is what he got. Hold up. <coughs> Stand beside it, please. Jackhammer out, please. No. Jackhammer out, please. I, I killed a guy with it for it. You farmed? A new box of farm? Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's on the gram. Now, right, when I got on, our first priority was to run over to boss's base. We wanted to see how many of them were on, see if we could build in, steal furnace loot, make a base inside their compound, anything like that. But as I was about to run out, Snuffy was already over there, and he was looking at a bizarre scene. It looked like they had been raided, or something of the sort. The turrets? Wait, I think they're raided. Raided? I think so. The front door is gone. We should put it in there. Okay. 100%. Put the wall off. Like. Never mind. Welcome to. There are mini here? They're probably in the middle of getting raided, bro. Wait. Are there dead bodies? Maybe they died shotgun traps? Oh. Uh, every box of there is gone inside. Like all of their boxes. I think they despawned. Or they moved. You wanna post me on top? Yeah. Yeah, this is not a raid. People don't raid like yeah, this. Yeah, they left all, every single door open. I think they moved. I think they despawned. Holy bags they got here. They 100% despawned. They took every god like, like away as well from top. I mean, maybe that doesn't mm. have a god lock. Building's still blocked in here. Do we? Is it external TCs? Yeah. That is really, really weird. Oh yeah, we can see all of these TCs. That? No, I don't. We need to go get some. You good? Yeah, I'm 20 HP. It's like 20. Yeah, no. I saw where the shots came from. That's 
They might go and try to jump in, you know. Yeah, for the mini. Maybe there. I'm one shot. Yeah. He's gonna push. He's in the external TC. I'm dead. How can he see me? I'm only down, but you can't get to me, I don't think. Yeah, he finished. I'll go kill that guy. Killed him. Nice. I'm gonna go flank that that bolty guy. There are meds on my body and probably his too. I'm dead from behind. They're inside the gun pot somewhere. Both? No, only one. So they could guys. They could go on top of hill, yeah. I should be like on them. I'm dead. He was checking behind him. Bro, well, that's the mini gone. I mean, it's not gone yet. You gotta live close because that guy Rickets is like he changed his kit to AK. Came back. So you gotta live around there. And probably that's the guys who got all their shit as well. What gun do you have? Sar. Okay. I haven't heard him taking a mini off. AK guy's probably jumping in. No, he's on top of the base up there. There's a metal 2x2. Two two. He just climbed down it. Still on top of that ridge. AK still on top of the ridge? I believe so, yeah. Unless that was you on a metal 2x2. Two two. No. He's still jumping around up there, yeah. He's there. Is he on top or is he on ground? He's on ground. Not on top of it, I can see. He's in it then. There's, l there's ladders going on top of the metal base. He's at that base, bro. I hear him jumping. He's, He's on, on top. He just jumped down. He's running to the compound, I think. Held him. I don't think that was AK. I think AK's inside. I'm crouched at their base. I'll let you know if I hear anything. That's Tommy. They had like a restaurant and holding my and shit. Yeah, they're trying to s I'm getting sword from far. They live in the right side of the place over here. Sword me? I don't know where. In the gate house, probably. You kill him? Good. No, he's alive. It's like three hits. You scared me a lot, man. There's a guy behind him. I'm here. It's me. Oh. All right, let's depot this, I guess. Wait, the body had over there uh, eight low grade I missed. We can take the mini home. Sorry. On top of the base, okay. Met okay. The metal base? Maybe jump down, yeah. He's still on top. Wait. I can go up the ladder. Can you shoot him? I'm trying to tap him. Tell me if, if you hit him. Hit him I'd once. I think he may know you're close. No, I'm 1 no, HP. No. I can't really keep peeking. Maybe he jumps off. No, we closed the garage door. No way. CO. Alright, just go for that mini and take it off. I'm gonna stay outside. So. Alright, I'm flying down the hill so we can't see you. Over here. Oh. Oh. I'm going back to base. I have 55 log rate. Sheesh. They might be the base owners, but they actually moved. Apparently, one of them closed the gate. Really? But apparently. I think they moved, dude. I don't think this boss guy's putting in 18 hours a day for six days straight just to all of a sudden decide to pick up and despawn. Like, Could have moved. You know, they may have gotten insided. Could have, yeah. Because, like, 
their comms yesterday were not good. Like, the leader wanted to kick a few people. Maybe, like, one of the person, like, people told the guy that he was about to get kicked. And so, before it happened today, he just, like, changed all codes, moved everything. Possible. Wanderer's base. Same. You can just hide in honeycomb. Can you get ready to go up the ladder? I'm all, I'm on top of their base. Oh, what the? F you good? <laughs> yeah. Doubled in. Like, where are you, Stevie? He's on top of the base. Dead. They have a shotgun trap, though. I can't loot. We can probably shoot it out. Take that, Star. Uh, dead. AK at Furnace. Go loot that. Also, you can see like deep into their base without having to. Yeah, I know. I'm dead. He's one shot behind Furnace base. I can. I have a bag there. Like on me. Hit him twice. Bend the furnace first. He jumped in. Killed him. Furnace base. There's cross here under me. Somewhere. Close? I don't know where he is. Okay. This guy was making meds. They have a, like a tier 2 and shit in here. Now, we'd been over there poking and prodding for a while, but we had a reason for it. We believed that these two guys, Juzix and Blaz, had all of that massive clan's loot. The evidence painted a pretty clear picture. Blaz and Juzix were making this kind of fortress of a base right up the hill from Boss's clan that mysteriously had no more turrets or closed doors in their compound or base at all. And Blaz and Juzix were coming in and out of the compound seemingly to get more loot from inside. This meant one of two things, either the group randomly decided to get off and despawn all of their loot the previous night, which didn't really make sense because it was only 11 or 12 days into a month long server, and the leader of the group boss had been playing damn near 15 hours straight for the past 7 days, or what we believe happened is that the group got incited, which meant that one or two of the members of the group were unhappy with the clan conditions, maybe it was the leadership, maybe they thought they were getting treated poorly. Maybe it was just purely out of spite, they didn't like one of the other group members, so in the middle of the night when everyone else was offline, they decided to change all of the codes to the base and then take all of the loot out of the base and transfer it to a new one just up the hill. Essentially ending what had the potential to be a 30 day long adventure for everyone else in the clan. It's a very frowned upon thing to do, but given all of the evidence that we were seeing, it was the most likely thing. So, Snuffy and I had to expect that 1. This group would have a ton of guns and gear, and 2. This group that only seemed to be a duo at this point probably had a bunch of sulfur and explosives. We didn't know for certain if this was the case, but in due time, we would figure it all out. But after this, for the time being, we decided to leave them alone. We didn't have 100% evidence that they had actually incited the large group, and so we didn't really have anything that warranted us sitting on their base and staying over there. So we focused our attention elsewhere, launch site. We researched and crafted up some HV rockets, and we decided to take Bradley. The take went flawlessly, and no one showed up, probably because it was 10 in the morning, so we went to the train yard crate right after, which turned out to be already looted, flew over our neighbor's base, which looked to have been offline raided overnight, and so we stopped in, got a row of stone from the TC authorized on it, and would later come back for all of their turrets. After that, some farming, and then, by the time that the next Bradley had spawned, we heard an HV rocket go off. 
someone else was trying to take it. At this point, it was 11.30, and I think it's important to note that that very first base that I showed you guys, that massive compound between launch site and outpost, had been in full control of launch site the first 12 days of wipe. They lived so close to it. I think that they probably woke up thinking that this day would be no different. Well, we'd see about that. They died to it or what? <laughs> Probably missed a rocket. Scientists shooting over here. Oh, scientists, they're running back to their base to get more HVs probably. Where is he? He's in inside recycler. Okay. I think they heard me. He's in tower in now, house. I think. Yeah. I'm dead to AK. He flanked. Yeah, it's our neighbors. Oh. GG. That guy came back with another HV. So there are three total. At least. There's another at their base, too. No, one dead, one dead. Are you good? I'm getting bolted, yeah. It's on top of the uh, wind turbine. No, no, there's a fucking zip line thingy. Okay, okay, okay. Kill full metal. I'm dead. Third time's a charm. Here we go. Hit him four times. Body shot, headshot should be dead. Yeah, he's dead. Get his teammate, should I have LR for you? More on me. I'm good. They're in the tree. You have such a free flank on these guys. Where are they? In the trees behind launch. Going out of MP5. Maybe wait till he shoots me again. He doubled me, I hit him once. He's right on you. There are two. I'm just distracting. Oh, he's on me. He won three times. Two two are there. I killed one, I'm pushing him away. Nice. nice. I'm gonna depot this. Some of these guns. Okay. Yeah, they're right on me, I'm dead. I bell for you if you wanna get up. He's in the tower, they tower. They know where we live We're now. Close. Close? Yeah. In the trees, I see him. Like on the tree line. Oh, I'm headshot. There's two, watch out. Pushing? Yeah, they're pushing. Okay, I gotta run then. Damn, I'm running outpost. I can't... Like, there's nowhere else to go. In, like, that guy knows. I'm just sitting there, dude. Are they at our base? Yeah, but killed in air luck. They're all next to our base. I'm taking HVs going on the roof. Okay. Careful, because if they kill you on the roof with door open, they're like almost full deep.
I'm crouching up. I'm going to be on the other side of the walls in a sec. There are other outside our base. <coughs> Play off on my engage if you can. Yeah. They're taking, They're taking our, our mini. Can you bake? Kill them. Full dead. More. Uh, more. I oh, know. I'm running back. There's one more on roof, two on ground, I Thanks. believe. I heard one on the ground. They could be crouch pushing me. I've taught me 20 bullets. I'm beacon. You have HV ammo? Or HV rocket? No. This next in front of door. One mage. Alright, I'm getting pinned by these guys. One jump down. Or something. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I need your help. Kill another, full dead. Need you bad. Kill one. Where are you? Oh, one more. I'm one. Kill this guy. I think they're all dead. I think that's all dead. One more, one more outside our base. No, he didn't. Yeah, he does. Kill him. Nice. Got the AK. Got his kit. Going in. I'm going out. Dead? Go ahead. 210, 210. Their base direction. Okay. Dead, outside wall. Nice. What do you have, Tommy? No, hey, okay. Oh. Are you lagging? Me? No. I'm lagging. I'm full lagging. You lagged out. I DC'd? Yeah. I think I'm getting DDoSed, bro. I'm back. We good? Yeah. Your kit is in air lock. I mean, the top the second floor boxes. One is back, full AK. Okay. Crouching towards our base, uh, okay. 210. Okay. Insta them, is that? Nice. One more. I'm about to come out, you good? Yeah. Don't see. He may be running. Could, be. Could he have looted his teammate's kit? No. Yeah, he's Maybe dead behind. Should be. Four times. I like. I, I'm, I'm getting DDoSed. I'm where I killed that guy. Can you loot my body and bring it inside? Okay. So I'm kind of going to breeze through this, but what started happening was really weird. I had 13 ping to this server. I have fiber internet, a gigabyte up and down. I've never had internet issues, but right after this fight, right after we pulled all of these kits off of these guys, I started getting hit offline. It wasn't just me disconnecting from the server. It was my Wi-Fi from my phone and other devices as well. It seemed like a DDoS. I'd never experienced it in Rust before. I didn't think it was even possible, but it felt just like how it was back in the day playing Call of Duty when people actually kind of frequently got DDoSed while playing. Intermittently over the next 30 minutes or so, I kept getting hit offline, but Regardless, we needed to expand our base, so while I was able to play, that's what I was doing. At one point after timing out again, I changed my name to DDoS Cringe because I was almost certain at this point that's what that was. But after a while of this back and forth and back and forth, we had the base kind of fully upgraded. Shooting floor and everything. It wasn't pretty. The walls on the side of our base made it hard to honeycomb that side, and it wasn't symmetrical, and it, it had its issues, but it was a little bit sturdier now. And right when we finished that, Bradley got taken. We knew it was going to be that huge clan on the backside of launch site, and we had just taken so many kits from them, we were confident we could do it again. So we started running over. 
One on me. Already? One full dead on me, got AK kit. Held him. You probably can't loot that though, right? Yeah, definitely not. Oh. They're gonna come from base. Yeah. You need to go loot fast. You need to just. They're coming already, I can see him. From the road, uh, 330. Yeah, I don't think we can push that. I think we have to back up with this one kit. They know exactly where we are and they have flanks. I'm getting beamed. They're just gonna keep pushing. They're just gonna keep W keying oh, me. We can we can crossfire them. No no no, let's bait. Let's bait the fight. Yeah, they're probably going base. Oh, they're still on the power line. This close one? No, the far one, not west. Okay, okay, good. I'm pushing from walls. 4 times. I'm dipping. Wait, wait. Maybe they push. Maybe they push now. I'm going to green. Alright, I'm on top of triple. They're pushing away. Okay. I'm getting bolted. Pretty sure they're using health these as well. I did one guy so many times. Guy, guy crouching on you. Three times beneath you. In the woods. Four times. I didn't want... He, he may be down. Here, get, let me give you meds. I just got DDoSed again. Oh, wow. I DC'd on green. What the f***? Alright, let's go home. Yeah, we can just keep poking them like this. One of these fights, they're just going to overextend and push because they're so tilted. And then we'll get a, we'll get a full wipe. Do I have enough? Do we have enough to finish the base or what? Stone, no. It's all like finished right now, but I want to do like the other layer of honeycomb. Now I started farming a ton of scrap on the road so that we could buy a wind turbine and power our turrets, but after not too long at all, we heard AK shots at launch again. And so, Snuffy ran there first, and after I depoted the scrap, I ran over. Alright, I'm gonna just come in P then. What I have found is that if I have enough fights at launch site over the course of a wipe, it's only a matter of time before Snuffy goes absolutely crazy. Why is Bolte next to me? Bolte next to me. Yeah, he moved. I kill him. Buster. He's on top of it. He knows you're there, I think. Killed him. Nice. I'm going to loot. On you. Wait on you. He's out. It's from the roof. I have triple Tyler. Killed one on me, full dead. Or down. I gotta loot this real quick. Like oh, two! Two are outside the walls on me. I'm dead. Killed one. The lower balcony. I'm on yes. boxes right now. Jumped in. Killed him. Green. Whatever. I'm cutting off their how they can leave if you want to get that back. That guy just can see better than me, I guess. Going back with Almost him again. 
full killed one. One coming from main building somewhere. They got me. Still AK is there. It's me, I killed the guy. Oh, How do you want to play this? Nice. Got another AK kit. Nice. Going back to base. Okay. I dropped one AK set in the corner. I'm gonna go check it. Yeah, it's still here. Nice. I may just come Hazzy just to get into launch. There's no face mask here though. Okay, I'll bring face There's mask. There's an AK. I'm dropping everything on this ticket. Kill one. Oh, he's on top of the uh, tower building. Okay. Okay, nice. I'm going... Triple right now, kill him in a sec. Killed him. Nice. Killed other AK on me. Killed other AK on me. Nice. Good shit. How's Andre? In front of the building. Killed him. They're coming on the, on the left. I don't know if I killed him. I think I did. I don't know how you seen me, bro. And there's one creeping in the woods in between you and our base. He's w crouch walking over to you. No idea where he went. I see him. He's dead. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, Snuffy. Good shit, dude. That's... Holy. Needless to say, per usual, Snuffy had played absolutely insane at launch site. Over the duration of the entire fight, we'd probably lost two to three full metal AK sets, but we'd probably profited five to seven. Quite a feat considering there were around five of these guys that we were fighting and the fight was taking place on the side of launch site closest to their base. Now at this point we could have gone back and continued to fight them in launch site, but there was something very, very interesting that had been going on. We'd been fighting these guys for, I'd say, a couple hours at this point, since they originally came over to our base here. And over a large portion of this duration, we'd been hearing a ton of explosions coming from our base's side of launch site. Raids were going on, and pretty frequently, there was talk and chat of the raiders being Blaz and Juzix, but we hadn't seen it for ourselves. Shortly after I did some base upgrades, got it to its final form, built a tip-top tower, started placing turrets and everything, and then we heard some more of the explosions. This time we weren't fighting that big group at launch site, so we decided to run over and check them out. dead <sighs> what is them snuffy snuffy Good now. Hello? 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 Where'd you go, dude? Fine, man. 
What, what do you say? I got hit hard. My whole internet went off. It's the DDoS. Get a kit though, they're raiding. Blaz and Jux, Juz, Juzix. It's the base up the hill that we've yeah. been farming near. They've definitely been raiding the entire time, I think. Ah, they're still in there. I see him, yeah, he's jumping around on the roof. I get to try to start shooting. Headshot him on the roof. I'm getting a little bit closer. I'm kind of under it. Okay. He knows I'm getting closer. He saw me. Hit him. They're building. There's a guy jumping beside me. What the? F I'm dead. I'm instantly fucking doubled on cooldown. I'm dead. I got my body, but my gun. I'm dead. I'm dead. Fell to Narnia. To him on the roof? Yeah, I mean, I liked so hard that I couldn't do anything, literally. I think he's on the ground looting you. He did, yeah. Like, I don't know. He's back up already. Dude! Oh my, there's no way to push this. There's no way. Okay, new plan, new plan. We know where they live exactly. And they just sealed, so they're gonna run home soon-ish. Yeah. And let's just meet them halfway. Both come, jumped on. Yeah, they're coming down. Can you let one yeah. run by you? Because I'm a little further yeah, back I'm than you are. Three of them straight coming down. Okay. Can't see him yet. They're running next to me. I distracted. Third. I killed one. Got his AK. He's gonna come on top of him. Yeah. Roof. I know. I can't kill him right now. Shot. You good? Yeah, naked. Maybe dead. I'm running away like I'm, I'm baiting like we're leaving. You stay hidden there. I'm gonna fire some bait shots. He knows I'm here. You have a bag close? Yeah. He's on top of where I killed him. He's looting his body. One dead. Dead looting. I'm dead. To LMG? Yeah. Top of hill? Bottom. He's pushing me. <sighs> dead. Nice. I'm gonna do the LMG. Yeah, I'm covering it. I can't see all too well. That bunch of shit on him. I mean, like raw frags. Oh, huge. Okay. I can't. I can't do all those, the stone. I can. If you can cover back up, I can get the rest. Let's go. I need to reload. You have LR? Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. Okay, let's go. I'm confused why the LMG guy came with the raid loot. Like, that that does not make sense. 
<laughs> salt in the wound, salt in the wound. So there, <laughs> there are only two of them, but they're allied with their neighbor who's like a p solo papaya, I think. They're the ones building in earlier, so they know we live here. We gotta be careful. I'm gonna put the large furnaces down now and smelt. Needless to say, our plan had worked perfectly. This was a huge success, not only for morale, but also for the loot that we had gotten. Two LMGs, AK sets, and a bunch of raw materials that we could use to upgrade the base. It was perfect, but not 10 minutes later, as I was doing upgrades, and we heard this. Huh? That's the same base, bro. Yeah, but we, I think we have gotten most of it. Maybe, but maybe not if they're raiding further. They gotta think it's worth it. I mean, that's a different base. That's different, different base. Different base, yeah. They must have. Gonna go? Yeah. They must have actually incited that group. And they Probably got all their that. boom. Probably like box rockets. Now, these guys, as a duo, just kept raiding. It was like they were never running out of rockets, which kind of confirmed that, yes, they had incited and gotten all of the loot from that big clan. We played for the next couple of hours, and unfortunately, the majority of that time I was not recording for on accident, but pretty much just the tension between us and Juzix and Blaz kept rising and rising. They were raiding little bases, so by the time we got to each one, they were already sealed and everything, but we were fighting them as well. We got a few AK sets, we got a bunch of gear, they killed us a couple times, it was kind of even, it was a back and forth. After that it was around 10pm and Snuffy got off, but before we did we kind of loosely planned that the next day would be the day where we raided Juzix and Blaz. One way or another, we were gonna wake up and grind, although actually Snuffy had some obligations so he wasn't gonna be on for most of the day until later, but I was gonna wake up and grind and farm and do whatever it took and then when we were both on, they were going down. It was us or them at some point. It was bound to happen. So anyways, Snuffy got off, and I stayed on for the next five or six hours. I was so scared of a raid by that big clan on the backside of launch site because they knew exactly where we lived, and they lived in a, a city, essentially. So they probably had the explosives to do it. Also, based on the amount of explosives that Juzix and Blaz had gotten from the big clan, there was a chance that they would still have enough to raid us as well. We were pretty sure they knew where we lived. So, that's why I stayed awake until 4 in the morning. Just AFK playing League of Legends with Rust on in the background. I was waiting for something to come, but nothing came. And so, at 4, I went to sleep. Marking the end of the second day of this adventure. Come on. Boom, did they use metal, metal, armored, garage door, single door, single door, double door, single door, single door. At the bare minimum, 40 rockets used offline on our base. I had stayed up till 4 a.m., so what time did it happen? Well, I opened Discord and saw that at 7.30 in the morning, I was getting spam messaged by Snuffy. He had just woken up at that point, and when he loaded into the server, Blaz and Juzix were in our base. He tried what he could, but it was all said and done at that point. Our base had been offline raided, and to make matters worse, not but 10 minutes later, and who was outside?
Yo, did you guys get traded? Wanted to end like this, man? Come on. Yeah, that was that was salt in the wound for sure. I mean, I had no idea what to do because Snuffy wasn't going to be on for a very long time, and we had just about nothing in our base. So I did a little bit of farming just so that I could break the external TCs and replace a TC in the main base because it had gotten destroyed in the raid. I did a bit more farming just so the base would have upkeep and then I kind of just AFK'd. I had no plan. Took a shower, made my coffee, watched some YouTube videos. It was a very, very somber morning. And a couple hours later, I was still just sitting there AFK in my base. Things couldn't get any worse. Or could they? I don't know if you're still AFK, but we're heading over. This is me. It is me. Me. This is me. Hello. Okay, uh, it, when you do, if you do find his body, could I, could I be the one that kills him just so when he logs on, he sees that it was me? Yes. Uh, absolutely. Oh, awesome, thank you, thank you. That's the boy right here. Oh, boy. Uh, se second level. Okay, there you are. Oh, Jezix. Happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Could 
Could I take uh, a few of these AKs? Like three? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I think I'm uh, ready for it to, to go. What had happened? <clears throat> you guys probably feel like you're missing out on a big part of the story, and that's because you are. So, let's rewind to the previous day. After all of the big fights that we had with the launch site clan that, yes, we had just raided Blaz and Juzix with. You see, later on that afternoon, Snuffy ran over to those guys' compound. And when he got there, he wasn't greeted with any anger, frustration, rage, anything of the sort that you may expect from Rust players after they had lost as many kits as these guys had. Instead, he was greeted with appreciation for the PvP and respect for his skills. Just listen. GG's. Thank you. Their conversation went on for a while about their base and the wipe that they had had, but overall, Snuffy came to the conclusion that these guys were really nice guys, which for a group of this size is not all too common to find. These guys are nice. They're not like toxic. So it was at this point as Snuffy was running home that we kind of formed a mutual respect for this group. They appreciated the PvP we brought, and we appreciated them not being toxic just because they lost a few kits. Of course, they had many to spare. They had been on since Force Wipe. There was no telling how many of them there were, probably 20 plus members total, just based on the size of their compound. Anyways, the moment I woke up that morning and realized we had been offline raided, and looked through our boxes, and realized we had nothing left at all, the first thing I did was run over to their compound. I told them what had happened, and one of them pretty much just said, Tough luck, but here's a Thompson kit and a jackhammer and a pure Orti to get yourself back on your feet. That's what I did. That's how I was able to farm the amount of resources that we needed to rebuild the base and also to get upkeep in the TC. It was an extremely nice gesture. So as a token of appreciation, I ran back over, killed a SAR guy on the way, and planned to give them that SAR kit just for free initially. But when I got there, they insisted that we do a trade. And so they gave me a bunch of wood, I gave them the SAR kit, and that also helped a bunch. But as much as that helped me get the base to where it needed to be, it didn't change the fact that it was empty. There was no loot inside. Except for the Tommy kit that was on my back, it was all taken by Blaz and Juzix. With Snuffy gone for the next many hours, I didn't really want to run around solo in an area so full of big groups. And so I played the final card that I had in my hand. The last bit of leverage I held in this wipe, and that was information about Blaz and Juzix. I told the launch site group everything about them. Hello. They offline you, brother. Shitty, man. It happens, it happens. We knew it was coming, but, you know. Yeah. We were kind of in their compound and we could hear what they were talking about. They were not happy with each other and stuff like this. And then and then one of them incited the other the others. The next morning we went over on the hill above their base. Another base was being built by two guys. So I think that they have all of the the rockets that the compound had. And so I had done what I could do. People lie about things like this in Rust all the time. They could have very easily thought that I was upset that I'd gotten offline, and so I lied about this group to try to get them raided. What they did with this information was entirely up to them. Did they trust me or not? After this, I ran back to my base and began sitting there AFK. Hours and hours passed since I told them this, and nothing seemed to be happening. And so at that point, I thought that this wipe was over. We had been bested, and I was planning to get off. That's when O'Fluff and a few members of his group ran over to my base with launchers and boom. They told me that they were going to raid Blaz and Juzix, and indeed, they did. And where were Blaz and Juzix? Well, the consequence of offlining your enemy at 7.30 in the morning is that at 2 p.m., when you should be awake and your base starts getting raided, you are nowhere to be found. Probably deep in sleep. This was karma, and it was beautiful. 
Now, while the raid was still going on, I was transferring some of the loot back to my base, and I was talking with one of the launch site group members that I don't think knew the full story, and this is what he had to say about it. I want to know where they got all their explosives from. I think it was these guys. Two days ago, we were messing with them, and turned out some of them were hackers, and so they got banned. I think one of them incited them, and that was Blast and Juxity, those guys. Yeah, I see that uh, on chat. Were they typing in chat? Yeah, one guy said he, uh, he's inside uh, the soccer. Really? Do you, do you know the name of the guy that incited? Was yeah. it Juxity or Blast? No, I cannot remember, bro. Oh, I see. For those that skipped the long explanation, to summarize it all, the previous day we were fighting two groups and we chose to bond with one of them, the launch site group. Maybe the mutual respect we had with them paid off, because they were familiar with the disappearance of the clan loot and the inciting of a hacker group, they were reading about it in chat. So when we came to them that morning and we told them that we knew where it was, they believed us and they raided Blas and Juzix. This was the Undead Wrath. We had nothing that morning. Our adventure was over. We were raided and our base was in shambles. But the right sliver of information to a group that could do something with it meant that the tables were turned. Blas and Juzix were no more. And the sheer generosity of the launch site group allowed me to fill my boxes with all of the loot that had been taken from me. First and foremost, of course, I want to thank the launch site group. I really do think that at some point they would have come across Blas and Juzix and eventually raided them, but it was good to know that we were the catalyst of that raid on that day. The members of this group that I talked to were nice and genuine guys, and that's that. Next, I want to pay my respects to Blas and Juzix. To be clear, there is not 100% evidence that they incited Boss's clan. It was all speculation, which always needs to be taken with a grain of salt. If you put aside the 7am offline, these guys were bold Rust players, just a duo running around raiding every single base that they could with the explosives that they got from Boss's base. It was impressive, and in the PvP it wasn't super one-sided. They were killing us, we were killing them, it was kind of even. Like I said, had it not been for the launch site clan and they could have been the victors in this rivalry. So there is their praise, because praise is due. And last but not least, Boss's clan. This is very important. We did not 100% know if the guy that was banned for ban evading and the rest of his team UI that was banned for association, we don't know, we still don't know if they were part of Boss's clan. That again was speculation. We didn't see any of them on the roof or running out of the compound. It was just based on where the minicopter was flying from, where they were running from frequently, where they were running too frequently speculation. It's important to point this out because if that five man that got banned was an entirely separate group, our justification for running over to Boss's clan, TC griefing them, camping their gates, jumping inside, that was all unwarranted. And if that was the case, which I don't think it was, but if that was the case, I sincerely apologize. Because ultimately I believe that it was Snuffy and I that created so much tension that tore that group apart and caused either the despawning or the inciting to happen. Now, Blas and Juzix were no more. The launch site group had hollowed their base, placed their own TC, griefed it. I had picked up all the turrets and pythons and such for my compound, and what followed this was a process of transferring a lot of the loot from their base to my base. Although, of course, the launch site guys got most of it, including all of the sulfur and the gunpowder and the three rows of rockets that Blas and Juzix had remaining in one of their upstairs bunkers, they were loaded, and it was certainly clan loot. Now, Snuffy and I would end our adventure here. The server would carry on for another two and a half weeks, many more tales to be told, but ours came to a close. Over the next few days, our base would decay to nothingness, and hopefully some newcomers to the server would stumble over our loot that would fuel an adventure of their own. So for now, it's goodbye. My name's Stevie. Thank you so much for watching.